Here we are once again. Dun, 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 dun. After a long hiatus. Long hiatus, yeah. Feelings. Not that long, but it felt seemingly long. long hiatus. <laughs> it feels like a long hiatus, yeah. Yeah. Here we are back again, though. Green Dragon CVR in Woodbridge, Ontario, with Mike and Alex for fucking gaming under the influence. Fuck yeah. Are you under the influence at the moment, I'm, Alex? I'm getting there. I'm yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, drinking a Jelly King from Bellwoods Brewery, and it's uh, kicking me off to like a good six, I would what? say. You know, beauty, beauty. Feeling nice and touch it up a little bit. I feel like I'm influenced not only by chemical substances, but astral. Yes. Influences. Astral. astral yes. Change. Astral influences. <laughs> The Astral Plane. No. Mm. From Astral Chain. No. Right on. Two games with an Astral Plane that we've been playing lately, actually. I guess. Eh? Control and... Uh, yeah, that's right. And Astral Chain. I've, uh, to be honest, not been too dedicated to Astral Chain the past week. Like, I played through perhaps the first uh, 60% of it, I would say. Yeah. I got to, like, Mission 7 or 8, and, like, I feel just I probably only made now. it to, like, the first 8% of the game. So yeah. you get, definitely did yeah. a little bit more than I did. Yeah. But uh, I feel just a little bit... I lost it quickly, yeah. yeah. I like a lot of the themes and the world building and stuff like that, but, like, the, there's a lot of fucking mundanity to it. A yeah. lot of moments of just doing See, things yeah, like, that I don't I really give a shit about. See, I really liked the know? intro and the first, like, yeah. couple hours. Then yeah. when it got to the station, I was like, okay, it's fine. And then when it got to that first mission in, like, the little, like, yeah. the map you were saying, um, and you have to just, like, talk to people, that's when I lost it. And mm. I probably could go back and get through it, but I think just at the time, I was like, I'm just not, yeah. I'm just not into it right now. One thing that I uh, enjoyed, like, with Control, I played immediately before this, was that there was very little in the way of, like, on the ground, like, characterization. Like, there was characters, of course. It was about Jesse and her brother. Yeah. But, like, you know, there wasn't so much in the way of, like, a motive, like, fucking time-wasting and just yeah. subjecting us to, like, off. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty yeah. point A to point B, yeah. do this, do that. Like She was more like an Arthurian symbol, you know, linear. finding, like, Excalibur. Mm-hmm. Like, and her brother was more of a symbol of, like, fucking less personal the hiss uh, and the fucking yeah. archetypal shadow I, I i guess you could say right like it wasn't so much about like oh, i'm sad because blah, 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 like blah, petty blah, bullshit god of warring it yeah, you know yeah, yeah. yeah i'm <laughs> fucking so not into that i heard these uh this distinction people make between high and low concept and they say high concept is like fucking something you can like summarize with a hook like what if we could clone dinosaurs jurassic park you know where low oh, okay. concept yeah. deals with like characters and like human stories and shit and like i don't quite think like that's the distinction i'm trying to highlight but i definitely don't like fucking low concept if that's what it means you if know like that's the case yeah i agree like, yeah i'm sorry like even novels like you can read something about some guys like mental progression towards something who gives a shit fuck mm-hmm. you like yeah yeah control was awesome because of how totally metaphysical it was, it was. yeah, yeah it like <laughs> didn't at all have to do like you know no. anybody's personal life fucking <laughs> irrelevant right like they were chosen for their roles like, before they were exactly, even born yeah. those characters you know they, they don't matter at all yeah, they're like, like the vehicle in it yeah. just to drive it yeah. she literally sees her predecessor them. shoot himself in the head that's how useless <laughs> like the people in this game are you know yeah and she's next yeah. up yeah and like <laughs> westerners it seems like they don't manage to like you know Japanese devs when you play, you're playing Dragon Quest 11 right now like the characterization yep. in that game there's like this fucking optimism and like I guess, you know, I would say healthy, like, fucking ontological, like, outlook behind it that Western games don't possess, you know? And I can't help but feel like any time, like, there's overt characterization in Western games, it gets far too into, like, yeah. you know, contemporary, like, pet issues that fucking people like to harp on, and it's just embarrassing garbage, you know? For me, it seems like it's uh, it's more like... Japanese it's endearing you actually like the characters yeah so sort of like, endearing yeah. and, like, a little bit goofy and, yeah. and, and just, you like, wanna live in with that the world, overall, you know? like... Yeah kind of happy tone right even it's not like contrived you know it seems like those characters were born yeah. in the mind of some guy just naturally like they are what they're supposed to be yeah. they're not like let's think of a way to express this idea like, uh, in fiction you know like complex fucking yeah some diatribe about uh, something for your son or something <laughs> i don't know back into it and really kicking on god of war right away eh? right off the bat it's had a lot of time to think about this lately about, yeah. yeah god of war 2018 a lot of time to think about it yeah it brings us maybe into super unpopular uh, opinion from us. Yeah, well, apparently, but yeah, so much for being a Sony fanboy. Fucking yeah, that's true, right? But uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot lately about why we said in the past that 2019 was an excellent year for games, Absolutely. and even recent One years have been pretty excellent, I think. And I think like partially why this is is a return to something that you know, an industry, a return as an industry standard to something we've been talking about since we started doing this. You know, the the fact that games and indeed all good art should be made for its own sake. It should be, mm-hmm. you know should be called autotelic that's that's the word that people use to describe something that has its own goal within itself right. its own 
self-justification. It doesn't it's exist to, to teach you something. itself, not... Yeah. Even though it may do many other things, mm -hmm. you know? Of course. Its end, and the end in the mind of its creator, is not anything other than itself, right? Like, mm -hmm. autotelic, it exists to be beautiful, you know? And there's been a return, at least this year, to what I perceive as, like, autotelic game design, a philosophy that was prevalent maybe just by de fact, by, by default, excuse me, um, in the PS2 era when the people were making games like Primal and Dracon, mm -hmm. the Ancient Skates. and was, think yeah. about it, there was less communication back yeah. then yeah. between yeah. the, the yeah. developers it and was, the community. Yeah, and, and, almost you know, by necessity. I, I think for, you know, there's various factors. Like, people didn't have, have, they didn't have, like, the information to base their game on other people's that opinions too, right? as much. Less or marketing the profit metrics. Yeah. And, yeah. But, I think also the medium was in its infancy and this like meant that there wasn't so much self-awareness. People weren't sitting right. there being like, what does it mean that we do this? Like, what is our, what is, what do we contribute to the world? Like yeah, yeah, Phil yeah. Spencer saying, well, people tell me it's a waste of time that people play games. Well, let me tell you how many girls got into math because of them. Like, yeah, fuck you, buddy. I don't believe that. The point is that, <laughs> you know, art should be <laughs> autotelic. It doesn't fucking exist to satisfy a goal, right? It's and supposed to be useless and just... The <laughs> yeah, useless in the sense that not practical, but yeah. not useless in the sense that for no reason. Right. It has its own right. reason. It's not got no reason, right? People are asking for what I would call an at like game, a game with no purpose, with and we'll no get purpose, to that shortly. Yeah. But that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying the thing should be its own justification. It should have its own good within itself. And there's, you know, a complicated, like, metaphysic behind why, like classical thinkers from Aristotle onward put forward this theory of art and it's I think a sound theory and I don't think we really even need to get into it to mm -hmm. to agree really even if people what? don't base their opinion on that metaphysic it's very agreeable to anybody that loves video games or any art really that they the call thing those is, days the golden days for a reason they do, yeah. you look at the types of games that came and now that you know the ones that are are starting to come out at the end of last year mm -hmm. mocking that style like mm -hmm. they're it, it, it all makes sense to me I think though like you know the difference between something like fucking that Hitlerian propaganda film Triumph of the Will featuring Nazi rallies and shit like that and a movie like Saving Private Ryan is that one exists for a purpose a practical end and one right. exists just to be what it is just a beautiful to, yeah. fucking movie right just exists yeah and, you and see the difference it. that you know yeah. we can turn art into a tool even if the subject matter is absolutely the same right so I think in 2019 we saw a return in fucking you know important places to this variety of game design right like mm -hmm. it's always been around I guess in you know the indie scene and even you know in uh first party publishing houses like Sony like of course you could say they, they've always been interested in this kind of thing at least because it's uh, good for their brand right yeah to, definitely Nintendo be seen been... that way yeah Nintendo too where, where their first party offerings are concerned mm -hmm. but uh, you know I think like just like in Europe there was this 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 period called the, the Protestant Reformation people started to really hate like classical art and anything inspired by pagan oh, really? ancient Greek philosophy and stuff like that so they you know in the Protestant countries and even in England uh, after King Henry VIII, you know, they, they smashed all the icons and got rid of religious art and they stopped reading Aristotle, blah, 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 blah. And in the Latin-speaking countries, in response, there was a counter-revolution, a counter-reformation, and all of these things that these people hated were stimulated to, like, the umpteenth degree by the fact that they were being <laughs> shut down elsewhere, right? So I think, like, similarly in the video game space, you know, people have been eulogizing, this one guy says, the death of the single-player game, the auto oh, game fuck, for fucking right? a decade, right? We've been told... By everyone, every like, fucking half-wit journalist, go every fucking idiot ever. in a suit, like, yeah, you know, nobody wants this anymore, it's not good anymore, People just games are going together. away, but that's okay, yeah. like, fucking, we've been told by everyone, for every so stupid angry. asshole reason, that games like this aren't going to be made anymore, but lo and behold, 2019, you know, to me, if, if that's the iconoclastic kind of, like, Protestant revolution... You know, these people yeah, represent, yeah. this was the year of, like, the Baroque the counter fucking counter-revolution <laughs> in gaming. Yeah, we saw a return to, like, you know, if those games are stripped of soul, if they exist only to accomplish some fucking utilitarian end, like socialization, profit generation, fucking satiation of the consumer, what have you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I banged your mom. <laughs> if that's the fucking iconoclasm, you know, beauty being stripped away, fucking at like games being destroyed for some masturbatory purpose, then this was... The, these games are Baroque in the sense that just like Baroque architecture with excessive embellishments and flutes and fucking, you can squint and you'll see more and more detail the closer you get, you know, they're oh, fucking, yeah. it's just a celebration of its yeah, own self, yeah. right? Games like fucking, in my opinion, you know, Control, Skiro. based not only on the opinion of its, yeah, certainly that one, but I like. I thought we were going to start listing Oh, that's, them. those are like, the, those are like what I'm building to actually, yeah, Sekiro yeah. and Jedi Fallen Order, but games like fucking yeah. Days Gone and Death Stranding, in my opinion, are fucking Baroque. They're like, you know the opposite of a stripped down game meant merely to generate profit or allow people to socialize. Yeah. They're so fucking right. dense yeah. and elaborate in ways that oftentimes have nothing to do with gameplay. Pure like world building elements, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's true. That you can only call them gratuitous. They don't exist for any fucking purpose other no. than their own sake. 
The people who made them say as much, you can fucking tell by playing them. There's no secondary monetization to speak of. Like, right. And fucking, I wouldn't be surprised if games like Death Stranding don't fucking perform that well, you know? <sighs> but, you know, it's not only me saying this. There's also, like, fucking filmmakers and, like, actual artists across the world saying that Death Stranding is a remarkable achievement, right? Like, outside yeah, of the fucking the thing, pissant right? circles of, like, internet warriors yeah. and politically-minded mm-hmm. journalists, like... Right. Yeah. People are like, I got bored of it in two yeah. hours. Yeah. Well... Yeah. Sorry that your attention Sorry that you're like that. fucking <laughs> brain dead. I don't know what to tell you, right? Like, I truly think you are, though. People ask me that, like, sometimes here. And I'm like, sometimes... They're like, what do you think about Death Stranding? And I sometimes try to, like, say something other than, if you don't like it, you're probably fucked in the head. But that's what I think, <laughs> that's you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I usually so land on. Antagonistic. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. So I think that that's a perfect example of, like, a Baroque auto game. It's fucking indulgent of itself, yeah, you know, which is so, what yeah, all yeah. fucking good art should be. It exists only to be what it is, which I'm is happy to be a right? part like, of this, uh, yeah. this counter-revolution yeah, me taking too. place. And I don't no. even, like, I don't even, to just to say, I don't hate multiplayer games. I like them more than you do, and, and yeah. I'm okay with, you know, yeah, except yeah. for Fortnite, I, I'm okay with any multiplayer yeah. game. I, I think we can even get Just back to fucking, that. Like, I don't think it's you know, necessarily bad that they are yeah. multiplayer, but rather that they exist to facilitate socialization right. or competition, right? Like yeah. a game like Monster Hunter World, um, you know, made by Capcom, yeah. who I think has been a feature of this fucking counter-revolution of sorts since yeah, they it started. Have been, yeah, they have been uh, turning yeah. their yeah, yeah. shit around. Um, they made Monster while. Hunter World, which is a multiplayer game, which is not geared or exists for the purpose of fucking facilitating, you know, socialization competition cooperation like those elements are included they're subject matter but they're not the purpose right like just like bioshock is about politics without being propaganda right like those elements can be there i'm just saying like if the thing exists for that reason it no longer exists for itself right and it's no longer good for it's no longer at like it's got some other reason part of we know some of the more issues with anthem but uh, yeah. that's got it yeah yeah that's been part a of whole fucking deeper anthem problem could have been a fucking sick game anthem probably right, exists right? for all three of these bad reasons that we talked about you know truly, <laughs> it's the right? fucking truly it's the epitome here eh? yeah yeah it exists to appeal to the political sensibilities of journalists the consumeristic fucking sensibilities of 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 fucking gamers who well, you can fly it looks you pretty know, like cool, Iron man, man bro. Fly, bro and the capitalistic <laughs> sensibilities of the, the people in suits who thought it would be a great idea you know <laughs> yeah I, I think like the you know the most uh, concrete proof that something like what I'm describing to you is occurring though is the fact that uh, two of the biggest and most nefarious publishers you know Activision and EA both yep. this year fucking um, published what I would consider auto teal like games, yeah, game. single player like game. games, with no <laughs> secondary monetization that exists for their own sake. You know, yeah. I'm sure they didn't do it because they had some fucking conversion to the beautiful and decided, yeah, like we love what's great all of a sudden. But I think they did convert perhaps to common sense, which anybody at can least, tell you, right? You know, at, which, at the very least, which, yeah. Which which informs us that fucking if you want to make money, just make good shit. You don't have to try and fucking manipulate people into giving you money if right. you make something good that they'll want to buy, right? Like what the fuck? Yeah, it's not complicated, right? Although problem is that shit probably makes them more money, but the fact that I, I don't know, man. I, in the long run, I really think you can maybe, make the case that not that's not yeah, so. Maybe not. In the long I really run, don't think right. so. Although, like again, we have to be conscious of the fact that companies like this they operate on very short term cycles of you know necessary profit generation. Yeah. They need to report fucking growth yeah. to their investors in the short term, right? Takes 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 yeah. time to build a fucking yeah. game yeah. and get it out there, right? So, but I think though, even in the short term, like games like Jedi Fallen Order and Sekiro mm-hmm. do in fact sell well. They are, in fact, profitable. They can well, be sold for yeah, a we long time. This year, you know? For sure. They have a longer shelf life. And it's they true, fucking. Even, even if you think about it, if they, if they eventually, you know, come months in, they, they dump it, it goes on sale, and then they get a flood of new buyers who are like, okay, it's cheaper now. And then yeah. even, you know, and as it goes, exactly, you know, yeah. increasingly lowers the price, but it sells more. And it, sure. it, it'll still sell, not like when it. And history also teaches you know, us that strange really, things but, can instigate like this fucking deluge of new buyers, like with the yeah. Witcher series. Fucking, That's, you heard they, how yeah. it's that, been selling it like fucking mad. More. Yeah, yeah. When the Witcher came, yeah. yeah, they don't have a shelf life because they're good games. Fuck, you could sell Ocarina of Time now on Switch on a cartridge for eighty dollars, and people would buy it. I would buy it. Buy it. Day one. You joking? Yeah, I'm fucking. And oh. it's a good game. Don't even. Yeah. I don't even give a fuck if it's the and 3ds it would, port. It would be like, like barely any work. Yeah, yeah, because they would just have to bump it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but it's a good game. It doesn't have a shelf life, right? Like. That's why it makes sense to put it on a new platform. Things yeah. that fucking exist merely to be a platform, to be a fad, to be trending. So fucking purple hair idiots on YouTube and Twitter or whatever will play them. Like, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we've seen this year. And probably even since, you know, maybe we could even say, like, in a sense, like... You have to... I, the like, big publishers, I'm maybe... I'm sorry to do this, but you have to, like... Maybe not. No, what? never mind. I was going to say, like... 
I feel like because God of War 2018 was like a single player game that had high praise. I don't know. I don't think that counts. You don't think it counts because of the subject matter? uh, Yes, exactly. Because of the subject matter. Okay. Because of the subject matter. The more I I think about that, the more... It did kind of create a discussion about, oh, like just a fucking single player game. And it was good. And people did enjoy it. Right? But Despite I, what we think is stupid about it. But. I think, like, single-player usually characterizes the game I'm talking about, but I yeah. want to, like, make sure that, like, single-player games can the, be bad, too, right? Yes, the point is that, yeah, like, just like with not, Monster Hunter yeah. World, like, it's, that's not necessarily the essence of what I'm trying to say. Like, Right, right. God of War, I think, fucking apes better games than itself mechanically and fucking just <laughs> destroys and shits down the throat of its own subject matter in such a yeah. depressing way. My yeah. God, it's so unpalatable, you know? Still, these fucking people are in the news blabbing about, like, fucking yeah. Kratos, yeah, like, I'm kind of embarrassed of how I made him before yeah, in a womanizer. Like, I don't up, want my own son to fuck. be, like, look at me cry on the internet, son. Uh, like, what the fuck is wrong with your head? Can you imagine your father doing that? Oh, can you imagine that doing that before your own son? Like, what oh, the God. fuck does that achieve? Man. Unbearable. Yeah. But truly, though, like, that takes what you might call high concept. Or fucking perhaps like Inter- metaphysical like ideas and fucking low concept. Yeah, it makes it low concept yeah. as fuck. Yeah, just make it about like, oh, uh, Kratos was a bad dad. Like his kid's gonna be mad all the time. Gosh, like, <laughs> ah. yeah, that was weird. Before that game came out, I feel like people were pushing the whole narrative about like Kratos is a bad guy, and it's yeah. like, well, just because he's the main character doesn't mean he needs to be a good guy. <laughs> like, Who gives a shit. Yeah, like- what the fuck? <laughs> he's a He's the god of war. I don't know what you were expecting, but... Really? Like, I got what, uh, what I expected. You know, we don't go into things and be well, like, does this character the... behave in a moral manner? Like, it's not an that instruction was, manual yeah. for life. What the fuck is wrong with you, you know? <laughs> they don't have to be good guys. Like, like does any fucking guy in the mafia... I was looking at the mafia poster to my right. Or any of the, the dudes you play in mafia or any of them morally sound characters? Or... I don't know. <laughs> they may be, they may not be. It, it really doesn't game, matter because... It? It doesn't fucking doesn't exist matter, to teach exactly. you, right? Like, yeah. If you're gonna say fucking to your kid, hilarious. "I want you to learn about life from my video game," then you've yeah. got you problems, failed already, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <sighs> exasperating. But yeah. So I think, like, you know, it's not just the fact that something's single player. I think God of right. War, like, maybe that's too hyperbolic of an opinion. Maybe there's a good case to be made for the opposite of what I'm saying. But I feel right. like, based on you know my experience playing it and on its subject matter and the concept behind it and on the opinions of its design team, that like. It's definitely not AT. Like, there's they've they've mentioned very many purposes for which it exists, and none right. of them are particularly. And none of them are just to be great. a fucking yeah. <laughs> sweet game, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sick. Like Twisted Metal game. was a sweet game. God of War one and two and three, three were yeah. fucking sweet games. And you know, I never you know? played Judgment. Heard Judgment was pretty great, good too. But it's, it's okay. probably better. <laughs> it's all right. I liked yeah. it. Fuck. It was a late era PS3 game. It was technologically fucking pretty. You know, they just run out of steam, I guess, by that time. Yeah. But. Yeah. They've already fucking killed all the interesting figures in Greek mythology. Yeah, like, what do you do next? Yeah. I guess that's what you do next. Yeah. It sucks. I think really that was the heyday of the character action game, eh? Uh, yeah, the DMCs and the the God of Wars. Yeah. What the they PS2. had that games like Astral don't have, and what Bayonetta had that something like Astral doesn't have, is, like, fucking that interesting, like, fucking high-concept aspect. Like, this mm-hmm. guy going to slay Greek gods. Like, fucking yeah. a witch whose fucking hair is a giant wolf or some shit. Like, yeah. You know? I, I, I played a bit of Bayonetta, and it yeah. doesn't have that same... It's yeah. different, but, I yeah. mean, those those are good, too, but... Yeah. I do love Bayonetta. Very different, yeah. Over-the-top action yeah. games. I, I expect it to like Astral Chain more than I am liking it, though. Honestly, that disturbs me Warned slightly. you. Maybe I'm going to go back and not like Platinum games as much as I thought I did, you know? <laughs> Is that going to happen? The start of their downfall. I'm going to play Bayonetta next fucking, month. We'll see. Uh, your, buddy, your buddy Phil Spencer was just in uh, Japan. Maybe they're going to buy Platinum and destroy oh, them. <laughs> fucking maybe. drop a bomb maybe. on Platinum. and like, yeah, Maybe. <laughs> no, I doubt it. It's very possible, yeah. <laughs> I doubt it because of Scalebound. Because that went yeah, so yeah. sour, like, they're probably not interested in... Uh, I feel like uh, you remember how we were Microsoft talking about... Very much. <laughs> if if uh, Souls... If you compare Souls and character action games, Souls, then you can say fucking they both have similar circumscripted gameplay. Yes. But Souls has a high high skill requirement. Or, yeah, oh, requirement. Souls has a high yeah. skill requirement. Action had high skill. Yeah, and character ceiling, action yeah. has a high skill ceiling. And I yeah. think I much prefer a high skill requirement. You know, I don't um, derive any joy whatsoever fucking ever from like chasing like yeah, S plus I guess. rankings. I mean, that's that, the thing, right? Well, in in like a Devil May Cry and a Bayonetta, you could just play them on normal enjoy them and then that like i would never bump up play it again but i guess some people like to 
you know, play it on the next difficulty and then the next difficulty, and that's where the ceiling comes in, yeah, right? Because so, they're getting yeah. better and better. Yeah. If there was like a PvP, the they'd kick your that, ass. Yeah. But you're essentially playing the same thing over and over, yeah. right? And getting better at it rather than just mm-hmm. in uh, with like a secure or a Dark Souls with a high skill requirement you you need that just to get through the game yeah. and by the end of it you're like i don't want to turn the fucking play this the problem, again. it feels like with the, having it as a ceiling instead of a requirement like once you hit that ceiling you've long since passed any necessity of doing so you know oh yeah any justification even yeah for there's doing no so. reason like, for yeah. The, yeah aside from just getting through just the saying next that you did, difficulties yeah. and, and yeah exactly yeah just saying that you did yeah that's that's fucking you know my recent thoughts on why 2019 was a great year for gaming i guess like just quickly if i want to fucking identify like the three kind of counter forces you know warring against fucking good games nowadays it would be like the fucking commercialism of people making games you know who want to generate profit uh, to the detriment of the fucking work of art you know? right right and be fucking the politicism of journalists yep. who fucking assess the quality of a work relative only to the presence or absence of specific political Fuck fucking Jesus. admonitions they're in but usually okay. this takes the form of some kind of like fucking pseudo philosophy that wishes to measure every individual's worth and moral standing from the category to which they belong you know black white fucking privileged or not etc yeah yeah very much in keeping with like this fucking communist idea that there's no such thing as art for its own sake you know and lastly there's the fucking consumerism of gamers themselves and youtube mobs you know who fucking reduce games to instruments of amusement yeah. and fucking masturbatory gratification <laughs> little more than digital sport no more expressive than pinball chess border card games by and large a waste of time that exists only to satisfy a biological necessity for play those are the three Greasy. ways that people fuck things up nowadays, yeah. you know? And while it's bad to be fucking a Marxist journalist, it's equally bad to be like, for the consumer, you know? Like, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? What's wrong with your head, you know? <laughs> fucking, your mom taught you you're too important, probably. Yeah. Yeah. You're like a speck in the universe. Yeah. 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 Like That's, I, and yeah. like you. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Save. Um, so, <clears throat> what do we know about 2020 in terms of what was the the style of games called? I didn't even say it. I don't oh, know. Oh, just you, fucking good in their own. But you could call them A T like if you want. A T like Auto T like rather Auto T like A T like means okay. having no fucking no goal. <laughs> what do we know about games coming out in twenty twenty like that? Like, can we call Final Fantasy Seven remake that? Because I don't know. I would call fifteen good. a game like that for sure. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that was fucking definitely like an, a labor of love. Like even I, like the very notion of it, you know, it was just yeah, like a fucking. That was a, a fucking monster, like a monolith of a fucking. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of, after all the updates and stuff. That game yeah. is huge now. I think it's like a hundred. 50 gigabytes or something it's like yeah. massive just like with the fucking dragon Very quest good. 11 though and most Love rpgs stuff. i feel like there's this like fucking eastern like optimism to it you mm-hmm. know everybody's yeah, just yeah. genuine it's like an actual celebration of friendship you know <laughs> it's not this like political cynicism to it that you encounter in most fucking games in the west right well, that's part of the reason why yeah. Yeah. hopefully seven remake can be somewhat of a repeat of that yeah. i yeah. guess yeah. i don't think it'll be bad i think it'll i don't think i bad. think it's gonna be good i think the same fucking design personalities are involved so yeah it's hopefully much. they can pull off like a resident evil 2 style fucking revival yeah. of the oh, franchise resident evil 3 as well yeah, that should be excellent huh. i like capcom i'm playing i'm gonna try and play resident is evil it, 7 is it first person did they no, no it's not first. i don't it's think so third because it looked like there were some first person moments in that trailer watch but i don't know i haven't seen very much but i yeah. would not be opposed to that it's yeah, pretty yeah. cool pretty cool all right. The Resident Evil games are amazing. Yeah. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving 7 a go. Yeah. I really liked um, fucking Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space was amazing, Dead too. Dead Space was dope. Yeah. First one. Yeah. Second one, pretty really good, good, too. Game. And that was, like, probably one of the last games that yeah. EA made yeah, that was, yeah. like, a good fucking, yeah. right? And then they've... EA, probably, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Inquisition was probably the last one they published that yeah, people that really, been, like, like rallied behind. Yeah, that would have been, like, 2016-ish, right? Even that one, I couldn't finish Inquisition. Yeah, personally, yeah. What else this year? What do we have? Yeah, there's. I don't really know what's coming. Yeah, in the next, it doesn't uh, feel like there's a lot like there's, of unknown because yeah. of the consoles. I think because I think a lot of shit is still under wraps. Yeah. I mean, Microsoft probably apparently doesn't have any exclusive games to announce Fucking for the Series X anyway. But we don't know what Sony is cooking up, do mm-hmm. we? Like they no. might have some shit. Nintendo's got to be working on another Switch version, too, I'd imagine, at this point. Oh, you know what's cool? There's this fucking game called Immortal Realms Vampire Wars coming out. I have fucking never March. even fucking Yeah, it's like some that. RTS. Yeah? Some fucking weird, like, looking It's an game. RTS? Yeah. No shit. For consoles, yeah, strangely enough. Interesting. Yeah. And there's really not that much, man. I don't know. I'm looking yeah, at all like the way the, through March. There's Doom Eternal, apparently, but Doom that's Eternal, delayed, right? right? 
Oh, Neo 2 in March, the Neo 13th. 2. That's probably we the big one. Cyberpunk yeah. got delayed till yeah, way Final later, Fantasy right? got delayed too, right? Yes, April. Yeah. So Neo 2 is really the next big one. April 10th. There's like some fucking shit like uh, Narcos, Rise of the Cartels, Yakuza Remastered yeah. Collection, Ori. That's cool. Yeah. Both of those, Yakuza yeah. and Ori. Darksiders Genesis physical release. That's not bad. Yeah, the Bayonetta fucking uh, and Vanquish 10th Anniversary Collection, Mega Man Zero, ZX Legacy Collection. Yeah, shit like that, but like no real fucking AAA like blockbuster releases. No, in the next little while, probably the next one will be Neo. Neo's a pretty big title, and I think it's a PS exclusive too, right? I'm not sure. The last one was. It either is or it's is and it's on the PC. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's not on Xbox, right? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Who developed that? Um, Team Ninja, Ninja fucking Gaiden Bros. Doesn't Microsoft own them now? No, uh, they own Ninja Why Theory. They Ninja Theory. So yes, the guys who made Heavenly fucking Sword, uh, fucking yes, that's right. Odyssey to the, the West. Fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the same kind of name. I do too. But uh, Ninja Theory is British. These guys are fucking Japanese or Taiwanese uh, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're both good studios, though. Yeah. I think Ninja Theory always had trouble becoming critically successful. That's the thing. With all their games, they're always like meh, kind of. Mm. Yeah. Heavenly Sword, I thought, looked cool, but yeah, I did. never really played a lot of it. Me neither. Those early PS3 exclusives are kind of fucking meh. Yeah, it seemed like everyone was kind of just getting the hang of the fucking system because it was so different. Cool ideas, though, like Lair. Yeah. Remember Lair? Lair, yeah. That dragon game? Yeah, yeah. Neat. Neat I idea. never actually played it, but I really wanted to. Yeah, I fucking was psyched for that, and I was disappointed when I got my hands on it, but yeah, could have been cool. Yeah, it could have been. They should make more, like, fucking simple ideas like that into games, you know? Yeah, a little more experimentation and shit. Yeah. I think it's not worth it anymore. It's yeah. like there's too much of a risk these days, maybe. I think Dark Souls, though, showed us that, like, you can make a game that has a fucking story without so much of a plot, you know? Yeah. It has, like, shit so, going like, on, but it's not plot, like a narrative. Yeah. It's not like yeah. a fucking about the conduct of human life. It works really know? well. Fuck I do, it. too. Yeah. It's, I much prefer yeah. that sometimes, you know? Yeah. It's very postmodern, you know? Not in the weird political sense, but in, the, like, this literary sense of, like, yeah. fucking advancing beyond, like, static narrative structures, you know? Very cool. It's like subtle yeah. telling a story, right? Yeah, video games are good for that too. Yeah. So you can learn things about the world just by living in it, mm-hmm. quote unquote, right? Yeah. Seeing all the shit. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Are you going to uh, play Pillars of Eternity too? Are you into that? I don't know. I. The thing is, if I played it, I probably would have played it on the PC anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Touche. It's been out on PC forever. Yeah, eh? for two years yeah. now, probably. Yeah. But yeah. now it's coming out on consoles. It is, yeah. How does, how does it work, though, with the controls? Is um, it like all the CRPGs I played have been pretty awesome. The first one was already on consoles, and apparently it was good. But so. Like, do you control your character with the? They probably the move joystick? in formations, but you use the joystick. Yes, right. From what I understand, though, playing it on consoles is much easier to control. Yeah, can, like that's yeah. possible. Yeah, because I think the way it works on the PC, you just like you click, click yeah. and stuff, yeah. right? Click on the yeah, but yeah. It could be more time consuming. Some journalists have that's, said, you know, for whatever what? that's worth. Yeah, for <laughs> whatever that fuck. <laughs> It, they probably do translate well, though, on consoles. I'd imagine, anyway. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't they, right? Honestly, they very the rarely do doing. I prefer, like... Mouse is good for shooting and fucking moving an army, you know? Yeah, that's true. But for moving characters, like, around in uh, in space, it's not the greatest it's thing, not, right? Yeah. yeah, you're right. Feels like you're reaching somewhere all the time, yeah. you know? Like, you want to be, yeah. like, moving, like, with your legs, kind of. Yeah, it's pretty funny how so many people, like... This week, I, you know wrote some fucking article about this and I spent a lot of time looking up who said what about single player games and like games <laughs> that are self-contained experiences you know and fucking pretty much everyone really like outside of Japan I guess yeah like most major companies have fucking made a statement to that room to that effect yeah yeah EA Activision Microsoft fucking almost everybody that even way. fucking Vince Zampella of Respawn but, like, said that lately you're saying in 2013 he said that oh, like yeah okay, there's okay. no point in really making single player yeah, games we yeah. spent so that long I remember, making I one remember level, yeah. when that narrative was being yeah. fucking yeah. driven through yeah. our fucking skulls here we are six years later fucking buddy's right? doing the exact opposite right the hell I'm hoping yeah. that it kicks off like a resurgence yeah I mean, we've talked yeah. about that too a lot that hopefully there's I think by and large like that, right? despite the fucking I don't even know it's, if it's universally true, but despite any fucking actual financial growth like the companies behind such games may have experienced in the short term, like, I think by and large, like, it's been a failure for the industry, this transition to live service gaming, you know? 
I think so. At least for too, the traditional game at, makers, like yeah. the large publishers, like their reputation has suffered. Their major brands are all dead. Yeah, fucking shot down. You know, some of them have had the worst console cycle of since they've launched consoles, right? In the form of Xbox. That's of true. Like, yeah. what the fuck is a really successful? Yeah. I mean, ugh, when I'm you think back on this generation, Fortnite. you know what people are going to fucking think of, buddy. Think I'm sure you fucking can even think of it yourself. They're going to think Randy. of games like The Witcher Three, <laughs> Death Stranding, yeah, the fucking 3, Red Dead yeah. Redemption Two. Think anybody's going to sit around and be like, yeah, fucking uh, Apex Legends too. was, uh, yeah, it was real good, yeah, fuck. yeah, you know, Star Wars, yeah, probably God of War, unfortunately, God of War, definitely, yeah, yeah. Spider Man, you know, yeah, that was a good one, yeah, buddy, that's the kind of shit people are going to remember. Nobody's going to sit there and fucking, you know what, I want to see, and I don't think we ever will because we mentioned or we we talked about how what? this isn't an, an, like exclusive to single player; it just sort of happens to yeah, happen yeah. more with single player games because of their nature. But um, I want to see. A, a developer sort of come out with an idea and like create a multiplayer game yeah. in some form but like not the traditional way of like okay we gotta like yeah. you know f- uh, talk with the community yeah, and get yeah, feedback yeah. and uh, like have their own idea and say we're just gonna make yeah, it and yeah. fuck you and see how, how it goes I feel you. because I, I really want to like test this out and see how it I think there are some examples would, though of how, how like work, right? even we played recently like I know like you know I mentioned Monster Hunter World before, but I also think, like, except in particular cases... I think cases, I mean more of, like, the competitive kind, which you oh, probably okay, yeah. won't. Well, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Either. Maybe the... No, like I don't know anything about shooter. that. Yeah. Let's say, like, Battlefield fucking 6 But wouldn't or something whatever, like that like, by its nature be more of a sport, you know? Yeah. I guess it's just definitional, right? I, I guess. It approximates, like, a I contest. I don't know, like... But maybe a contest can itself be an art, right? Like, if you make it... Yeah, you know, like, yeah. usually, I remember, like, the early, like... FPS games like the Battlefield and stuff like let's say Battlefield 2 was one of my favorites it would, it would I mean you're playing multiplayer so there's not much going on but they drop you in and the loading screen shows the map and, and they would give you like a brief story of what mm-hmm. is you know not actually happening but like a background yeah. information like you're the Chinese uh, army against the Russians or the Americans or whatever yeah, the hell it was man I think that could work out really cool that could work out cool there was actually Battlefield 2142 was uh, like one of the futuristic titles and they had a lot of like lore and background information on why the humans are fighting over like water because it, it the planet yeah, became yeah. whatever fucked up and and like water was a sure. a major resource so at least like yes you're playing what about like, an mmo like something like that even, yeah you know? something like, like yeah. that could work but th- so With yeah competitive you're, element i mean yeah yeah you're playing um you know whatever a competitive just shooter but like but I understand. What At you're least they to say. dressed like, it up and gave you like yeah. some idea of what was going on, right? I guess though, like it's not necessarily bad to fucking be uh, now. Like, like, I, feel like I guess they don't do that. The thing, it's bad to like take an idea and compromise it to make it multiplayer or to make it so yeah that it right. includes other people. But suppose yeah. you have an idea theoretically mm-hmm. that includes in its very essence, you know, the involvement of multiple people, right? Yeah. Like it's good is to have multiple people involved. Right. Like there's and nothing contradictory in that. Yeah. yeah. Why can't that be made? The I don't thing, see the why The problem not. is I guess like pretty much every multiplayer game out there now because it needs constant like developing yeah. and tweaking and stuff, that's where you yeah. get the additional yeah, yeah. monetization yeah. and stuff like the, yeah. the skins and all that bullshit and the loot boxes, whatever the fuck it is. I think you know what would really that's, help that's actually problem. make a game like that, buddy? One of the big problems with games like that is our fucking cultural preoccupation i guess with like a low concept fucking storytelling everybody in the fucking game has to feel important you know yeah most of the time it could be like oh hey special agent fucking number two million and four like <laughs> fucking go solve this problem everybody else has already <laughs> yeah, solved yeah, like, yeah. if they fucking find a way like souls to de-emphasize the importance of the individual character in the world then you could definitely make that kind of shit work right yeah so you're not fucking there you're not christ you know you're just passing through yeah, like it yeah. makes more sense for there to be a lot of you right like <laughs> it doesn't compromise the integrity or That's the internal true. logic of the thing you know you could definitely like I can imagine like a, a persi- like Eve Online like a persistent game right fucking where you're a member of a faction you know and you fucking participate in the going ons of couldn't this couldn't that be like universe, WoW was right? WoW like that yeah I guess so or? yeah I think WoW though definitely suffered WoW. from this like you know trying to make fucking a bunch of unimportant people feel important kind yeah of thing, right? okay Everybody's, trying to tell like a Lord of the Rings yeah. kind of story about like fighting against all these important evil guys but it just trivializes yeah. it when you grind the same fucking boss for gear like a million times you know like fuck you know what game I wish I had played on the PS3 but didn't? You ever heard of Mag? Uh, Massive. It was an online game. Yeah, game. I did hear that. So yeah. it was you could fucking... run on the walls and shit like that. Or no, I don't think that was this one. This one was um, actually I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but um, this was the last game developed by Zipper Interactive, who were the guys who did all the SOCOM games. And uh, what what it was was, uh, I think it was 
like huge servers of like 128 people all grouped into like smaller little armies so each like individual oh i did hear about that yeah had yeah. like some shit or objective to do and they were like large-scale battles right it was i think That's it was cool. one of those things i never personally played it other yeah. than i think like a demo or a beta but i think it was one of those things that may have been like ahead of its time and it could could be something cool like yeah, that if it was cool. revisited but yeah, at this yeah. point it wouldn't be there's but, all kinds of fucking pretty wicked ideas you could have kind of just reminded me of that yeah um, i think like that would you know if you think about it like it's easy to accommodate a single player in your game world, but to fucking mm-hmm. accommodate many like comfortably and without sacrificing the integrity yeah. of your idea, that requires like an excellent idea. Like right. you have to be a master yeah. of your fucking craft, you know? Which like to then, not just have all these ad hoc like justifications and right. fillers. Like yeah. You need to be really the but, easy thing to do is just put them all together and compete, like you said, yeah. right? Just a competitive thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Just pit them all against each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think though you could if you start from the perspective of like fucking conceiving something for its own sake and there's no reason why that can't include yeah. the participation of many people. Right? I think like, it's just, it, like I said just before, tends not with, to. like, because online games constantly need, like, servers and expensive, yeah. Uh, yeah. like, yeah. updates and, and pat- constant, like, patching and balancing and yeah. whatever work on, then it needs additional income, and that's why nowadays yeah, they just yeah. get fucked. They're too centralized, though. They must find a way to, like, fucking decentralize the whole process so players can fucking operate their own servers and shit, you know? Yeah. That's another huge problem, buddy. PC like PC games, you can rent your own servers. Or rent your own? Like, isn't it possible yeah. to just, like, if you have a PC like yours, can't just you just run fucking it, run yeah. it? Yeah, I think uh, not if you're going to, like, modern servers with a bunch of people in there. Like, I don't think you can Maybe just... not some massive experience, but, yeah. like, it would go a long way towards know. preserving the game against fucking, you know definitely yeah, preserving true. its shelf life if you could like sustain it past the involvement of its developer right yeah like, now you can't play dark or demon souls online anymore for example no you right? couldn't that right? sucks they gotta remaster that shit they do the ps5 i cannot believe they have Can not you done imagine? that like you think fucking sony next month is like epic, here's yeah. a ps5 guys and here's demon soul the, remaster. imagine a full and remake everyone, though everyone's still gonna be publishing articles yeah. xbox one x is gonna straight get, get the fuck out of here yeah they must have paid a bunch of guys hey eh? let's remark on that briefly like we, we we talk all the time like doesn't it seem like maybe it's just my fucking my like my burning detestation for that brand that fucking <laughs> is informing my perception but it feels like everywhere i look now there's some like dimwit journalist like telling me why oh, like yeah, xbox, xbox is gonna be great is gonna be so good and you know? sony is not doing yeah. anything and uh, shut up now you know 99 percent of the time it boils down to some like combination of factors like Xbox is like an environmentally friendly corporation. Xbox yeah, right. favors convenience and value. Things to this effect, you know? All of these fucking things which, in my opinion, like, don't really make a good game. It seems like it seems like these are just bold-faced admissions, firstly, that Microsoft is not concerned with being a game maker at the very right. least, a game publisher. Yeah. But, moreover, you know, give me one sec here. They don't want to, like build a beautiful home they just want to be the landlord fucking take the check <laughs> yeah they're fucking Microsoft's garbage and I've been saying this since uh, since the end of the 360 days when they stopped making exclusives and started shoving connect down people's throats mm-hmm. and Sony quietly worked away building up the ps4 right and mm. getting ready for like a fucking can of whoop ass and then telling everybody something. that <laughs> they should buy a video game system for all these reasons except video play games video you know games. like oh yeah yeah that makes a lot of fucking wave sense wave your arms in front yeah. of your tv like <laughs> yeah. so we're very much in that situation right now and uh you know there's this article i saw on polygon um Sony dominated this generation by ignoring Microsoft's strategy, yes. And this guy here says, is there any evidence that players even want what Microsoft is offering, that they want to stream their console-style games on multiple devices? Are players begging for subscription services that replace the per-purchase cost of games? Does anyone want the basic console formula to change? Is the mass market fucking even ready for a console that can also be used as a portable device? He says, I'd argue you can only definitively answer yes to one of those questions, and Nintendo already owns that fucking market, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't. I don't know one person who does want any of that shit. The most that I hear is people say things like, yeah, it's pretty forward thinking. It sounds like a neat idea, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Who wants nah. that? If you're interested in games, you don't. If no. you're not, then you would start somewhere cheaper, right? Like somewhere fucking more reliable, right? Yeah. Like yeah. even with Microsoft, you know, and their stupid box with no disk drive. Yeah, that that would yeah. be a perfect entry point yeah. if yeah. you just want to mass consume a bunch of yeah. games. Schlock, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of that lately, but. All it just reinforces my, my opinion Everybody that... Everybody has been... All, all kinds of articles being yeah. published out there. It's it's weird to see that, like, in the media, the trend is to be favoring Xbox right now, whereas 
nothing has really changed that much and in terms of good games coming out like playstation has better games hands even, down, even, without even doubt. the youtube consumerists are fucking been yeah. like sucking on microsoft that's what balls. i mean like it's i think, it's really I think weird. microsoft is just they gotta be funneling some money into some they places. flew skill like up and they, buddy out to e3 there you go and ever since then, they haven't shut up. One of their headlines was, was literally, are. it's so hard to meme on Microsoft when they make games as good as Gear 5s. Ge- Gears, Gears 5s, five, yeah. 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 Hard to meme on it. It is a meme. Is that a joke? Ooh. They have to bribe you to play it with fucking your sexual orientation. Like, is that a, is that a joke? But but Terminator. Yeah, the Terminator, Terminator tie-ins. My Jesus. God. I mean, man, I love Terminator 2, but those yeah. are like, yeah, what that the was fuck? the last. That was 40 years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> <That was fucking, laughs> that was quite a bit. I think that came out when I was born. Yeah. I'm, we're getting old. Yeah, we're getting old, <laughs> are we? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Some bad stuff, but mostly good stuff. Even the bad stuff is good. <laughs> it's fun to observe. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Sony, I, honestly, I feel like, I mean, without even seeing what Sony is doing, basically, like they haven't showed their hand yet, I still think they're going to, they're gonna come out swinging i just think like as a matter of fucking cultural outlook you know yeah. the japanese still they just have, have a better integrity yeah. yeah yeah they still respect their craft oftentimes they work oh, in a single definitely. company for their whole lives you know on yeah. the same series for their whole lives like the guy fucking the working Nintendo on final guys. fantasy 7 yeah. yeah like it's not like in the west they're no. not out to pander to people no at least not that i know of i've never heard them pandering to me you know just want to make it yeah game. if they're doing it yeah. they're doing it over there not over here because yeah. i haven't fucking seen it they're more but. concerned with making accurate booby physics you know <laughs> and navels yeah bots which fine great as I'm long okay as the that. game is good i yeah. don't give a shit yeah. <laughs> yeah oh man i can't wait for them to reveal the ps5 yeah it's gonna be pretty good it's what they're working on they gotta be working on some games like we just don't know right oh man i don't know i hope they just even if they're not you know themselves working on something that they like pay for other people too like yeah Bloodborne. there's, there's got to be dev kits yeah. out there there's there's work being done they're a, a good imagine. patron of the arts sony you know yeah. that's how i understand yeah. them right like yeah a patron of the arts whereas i think of microsoft as like the anti-patron of the arts because they buy up fucking artists and they shit down oh, their throats shit. and just fucking <laughs> make them make connect games embarrassing yeah obsidian fuck. fucking rare died a long time ago rare oh fucking. man I wonder if, like, you sell yourself to Microsoft, you have to sign, like, a non-competition agreement so that you can't go and start your own studio, eh? Otherwise, everybody just take all the money and go make a better studio. I don't know. Like, has anyone ever done that? I, I guess know. not. I don't know. Like, left a... How did Bungie get out? Of Activision agreement? Of, uh, no, of, like, the Microsoft. Oh, I don't know if they even were. They probably just satisfied their obligations. Yeah, you know? maybe. They probably just made the games they had to and... I would have imagined that Microsoft would have tried to buy them or some shit. Yeah, they probably did. Probably Activision, too. They took Chinese money instead as well. Yeah. Interesting to see where that goes. I don't know. Breaking into that market is valuable, buddy. Well, wouldn't be doing it if it weren't, right? Yeah. I don't care about that, per se. Yeah. It doesn't bother me one bit. Depends how... Depends where it goes from there. Literally, man, they're better communists at Kotaku than at the CPC, you know? <laughs> I'm not fucking concerned with Tencent. <laughs> Legitimately, they are, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know who that's more insulting to. I have no idea. I'm probably up at about an eight now. Nice. This big beer is... Oh, what are you me, drinking there, Alex? Me some, Talk a bit about that. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but this is a Jelly King. Oh, Jelly King. Excellent. The uh, boys from Bellwoods Brewery. Wonderful. A fucking five freshly bottled there on the 18th yeah. of December, less nice. than a month ago. It's fucking sour. I Wonderful, like how yeah. as you drink it, you sort of adjust to it, and it gets less and less sour. Then yeah. either that or it just gets less and less sour towards the bottom, mm-hmm. which I wouldn't think. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Uh, you become first, acclimated to it, like yeah, like in a first cool old pool. man. The first couple of sips, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. But it's nice. Yeah, you do get. Uh, it's delicious. Used to it. I'm the drinking fuck, a fucking uh, dark sour, a, mm-hmm. a barrel aged sour stout rather from fucking mm-hmm. Bellwoods, nine percent alcohol. It's called Cherry Dark and Sour. That shit is good. Tastes like what I said it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very much. Tastes like a Black Forest cake, kind of slightly sour cake. 
So what else did we miss? Have we uh, pretty Nothing. much covered everything? Nothing's really been going on yet. Yeah. It's Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I haven't had a chance to try oh, it. Oh, yeah. I heard some mixed shit about that, but it looks yeah, pretty cool to me. I heard the the worst complaint I heard is that it's slightly shallow, which... I don't yeah, know. I just heard that you over-level really quickly, but I don't even care about that. Yeah, now. Me neither, yeah. So doesn't bother me. I, I'd be down to get a run. Me too, yeah. Maybe I, I gotta fucking that. clean up some of my other shit first. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta... Maybe I'll try and marathon through control tonight just to oh, like, yeah, get true. through it like I, I feel like i just need yeah just finish it man. just finish it um what's the other one? Oh my god i'm so dumb i don't know what else are you playing well dragon quest but i'm not expecting to finish that anytime soon yeah. so there yeah, was something yeah. else i just i can't Death Stranding? My... Fucking yeah man. i think i'm only like that's a long one too. a little more than halfway through that but oh, yeah fuck. i mean i should oh it's, uh, star wars star wars yeah, yeah, yeah i can probably motor through that yeah should i play that, that like I don't know. Is it worth it? I don't know. I like it, but I feel like... I feel like you won't be able to enjoy it as much as, like, like Sekiro. So no. Just play Sekiro instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just finish Sekiro. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Are there cool bosses and enemies and stuff like that? There's not really a lot of cool bosses yet. No? Like, there was, like, one or two. There's sort of, like, a lot of... Um, I want to see more, like, mini bosses that you encounter, like, once or twice... Yeah. Or like you know those little walker things not the big big ones but like the two legged ones <laughs> and they're like a pain in the ass but it's not like it's not like on the level of like Sekiro with like phases and like cool mm-hmm. shit like that right yeah, yeah. it's kind of just it's just a big enemy with a lot of health yeah and they I want to finish yeah. fucking Surge 2 perhaps that would be good yeah I'm right at the end of Greedfall as well have you played Code game. Vein at all no that Very one's briefly, been uh, in my head a little bit. Yeah, that looks good too. Yeah, looks neat. Yeah. Is that the one that you said also had co-op? Yeah, it does have co-op. co-op together. Yeah. Did you buy that one? No, I did not. You didn't? No. no. Yeah, we could play that together. That'd be sick. Yeah. Souls like game. Anime it, Souls. It's fucking. It's crazy how now like it's it's downtime that like we have the time to yeah, finish all like finish again. all these games, right? Yeah. Like before it's fucking fuck, Fire Emblem came out, we this were is sitting the, around like it's the wet drought because yeah. it's winter, yeah. but it's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the dry yeah. season for video yeah. games. Exactly. Well, yeah, so we got lots of time to finish some shit up. Yes, we will do that for sure. Well, anything oh, else for damn. today? You think that's? Um, I don't know. I think we fucking covered it all. Eh? I think we hit on everything we wanted to. Yep. Maybe except for video game soundtracks, but we can oh, save video that. game soundtracks. Yeah, fuck. I was gonna tell you about um, the day in the car. I usually put my music on shuffle, and I have like some fucking soundtracks on my on my thing. So, came up. Uh, I think it's the like the the boss battle in the against Ganon in Breath of the Wild, right? And it's such an epic track because it's like it's the final fight of the game, right? So it's the fucking like climax, and it feels like. It, it sounds like the music is like in climax too, because it's like all the instruments you've heard throughout the game, like the soft little piano, you know, while you're in like an open dead space, yeah. and everything just comes together, right? All of the other instruments. It feels like a, it's like an orgasm in your ears of all the yeah. fucking music that you've heard throughout the fucking that game. Epic. Just like smashing in your head. <laughs> they do have the best. Fucking and it was, it was so good. I was sitting in the car like, oh, it's so good. Like I was fucking, oh, fuck yeah, buddy. It's hard to explain. You just have to like, I understand. You know? Yeah. You, yeah. You feel it. Yeah. It's good music. It's fucking bad. Nice form of movement. Yeah. I like that shit, man. I like soundtracks a lot. Yeah. We were talking the other day about how they're like one of the few. I don't know. I think very, very underappreciated. Yeah. An act of composition, truly. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Appreciate that shit. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, we can dive into that further one day. Yeah. Maybe for next week. I'll I think we're. Uh, I think we're pretty good. I think we're good. Thanks. Great. Thank uh, you guys for tuning in. It's been a fucking blast. Hope to see you around here. Yeah. Happy to be sometime. back. Yeah. See you soon.